Hi. Uh, this has been a discussion on lining up these Chinese mini lays. Uh, I, I went through a lot with this thing to try to get some accuracy. Uh, and I, and I've, it's still not perfect. I have an issue in the uh, spindle. And that, you may be able to see the the needle move just a thousandth or so. It's much better than it was, believe me. But anyways, this is one setup. Checking the vertical axis. As you can see, I'm pretty well straight vertically. Uh, I had to replace the headstock, that's why it's red. Um, I ended up putting shims under this side and this side to get some twist. Now I, I'm gonna I'll try to go fast here, but Let's see, can you see that? Good enough, I guess. Anyways, I ended up pretty good here. Now, what I'm looking for is a change along the length of it. I was turning tapered badly. As you can see, if you can see the dial, I pretty well got rid of the, the twist in it. It's it's as good as I can get until I replace the spindle again, which I, I'm really not inclined to do. But well, I hope that helps some of you guys. The uh, comparatively little money I spent on the test bar was well worth it. I really suggest buying. Uh, three, uh, MT3 test bar. Out of it, you know, eBay's got them for forty, fifty dollars. Free shipping. I think it's worth it. Now, I've had issues with the tailstock, and I probably will end up buying a coaxial indicator, just to really prove that I've got that damn tailstock lined up. There, there is still some flexibility in it. I mean, let's face it, this is a little lathe. And it's, well, it is what it is. Um, it's, believe me, 500% better since I went through my modifications on it. I wish you all, all you guys good luck. Some, some people have had the privilege of being trained as a machinist. I am not. I've basically learned all this stuff since I retired a few years ago. But anyways, it is what it is, and have a good day.